Okay, let's let's do this one. So here what we have, it's a fraction. What do you think we should do first? Um, times three. Yeah, we multiply by three, so get rid of three. So that's x minus two equals to 15. Then it's piece of cake. Then add two to both sides to get rid of negative two, so that's 17. And then that's it. F, what would you do as a first step? Times five. Times five, very good. So we get rid of 5 in the denominator, that's what we want. 5 times 9 is 45. And then add 1 to both sides to get rid of negative 1, so that's 46. And then in the end, divide by 12. So 46 divided by 12, which is... And it be over... 6. Uh, 20, 23. 23 over 6. I think that's the best we can do. 23 over 6. Simplest form. G. Multiply by, yeah, by 3. So 5x plus 2 equals to negative 3. And then 5x minus 2 both sides subtract 2 from both sides to get rid of positive 2. So negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. And then divide by 5, which is negative 1. Negative 1. Good. And H. Uh, first thing I would do is times 4 again to get rid of denominator. So 5 minus 2x equals to negative 4. And, and then uh, subtract 5 from both sides, you see, to get rid of 5, so negative 2x equals to negative 9. Now, in the end, divide both sides by negative 2, negative divided by negative positive, 9 divided by 2 is 9 over 2. That's the answer. All right? Yeah. Good. Did you write it? What line we go now? I, J, K, and L. L. Yes. Prepare it. So now it seems that we are we're going to have more steps. Two x minus. Uh, 1 over 5 equals to x. Uh, multiply by? Same five. thing. Multiply by 5, yep. Yeah. So we get 2x minus 1 5 can. 5x. Very good. Now, I'm not going to get rid of 5x. I'm going to get rid of 2x because I don't want to get negative number. So this is gone. Negative 1, one equals to 3x. Now, so 3x equals to negative 1, so therefore x is negative 1 over 3. We divide by 3. Last step is a division. We go backward. 3 times x is negative 1. So we go back. Negative 1 over 3 is x. j. That's not j. j. Uh, same thing, get rid of the denominator, multiply by 5, 2x minus 3, but you have, you have to be careful here. What should I write on the right side? You're multiplying by 5. You see, it's x minus 6, you see, times 5. You can think like that. So you have to distribute 5 by both of the terms. So it will be like 5x minus 30. It's very important. 5 times x and then 5 times negative 6. Same thing. Get rid of 2x. So add negative 2 to both sides. That's gone. Then we have 3x. Now add 
30 to both sides to get rid of negative 30. So that is 27. And then 3 times x is 27. So 1x is 9. 27 divided by 3. All right? All right. K. Multiply by 3 first to get rid of the denominator. So 10x plus 2. Same, distribute this 3 by both terms. 18 minus 3x. Then, I'm going to add 3x to both sides. So to get rid of negative 3x, that's gone. 13x. Now, subtract 2 from both sides to get rid of negative. To get rid of 2, that's 16. And x equals to 16. 13. That's the simplest form. Okay, L is what we talked about before. Now, what should I multiply this with? Oh, by. Uh, I have 2 and 5. 7? No, why 7? You, you want least common multiple, not like, what are multiples of 2? Oh, 4. 4, yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. What are multiples of 5? 5, 10. Five. Okay, that's the smallest one, 10. So that's the least common multiple of 2 and 5 is 10. So I'm going to multiply this by 10, because 10 is divisible by 2 and 5. So that becomes 5x. And... This is minus 2x. You see why? Because you multiply this by 5 and you multiply this by 2. You multiply this by 10. So it goes to 30. Uh, that's good. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3x three equals 30 and x equals to 10. 30 divided by 3. All right. I'm going to go to the next part, which is M and N. N looks nice. <laughs> Let's just look at it. It looks challenging. Oh. What is the least common multiple of 3 and 2? Um, 6. 6, very good. So let's do it. So multiply this by 2, it becomes 4x minus 3x equals to 42. 6 times 7, 42. Um, now 4 minus 3 is just x. Done. It was faster than I thought. Now we have n. Uh, this one. I'm going to rewrite it first. You see, if you write it like negative 2, then x plus 4 over 2 equals to x over 7. All right. This one, I think this negative 2 cancels 2, so it's just negative 1. This is times. Then negative times x is negative x. Negative times 4 is negative 4 then x plus 7. Then, uh, either you can move this one here or this one there. So I'm, I just add x to both, both sides, get rid of that. You get 2x here. Then minus 7 to both sides, get rid of 7. That's negative uh, 11. Therefore, x equals to negative 11 over 2. That's one way to solve it. Okay? Okay. The other way to solve it was multiply this one by this one. So you will get like, and multiply this by this. So you can get negative 2x minus 8, and then you get 2x plus 14. Same thing. 
just and again plus 2x this gone get 4x then minus 14 so you get negative uh, 20 22 and x equals to negative 22 over 4 which is negative 11 over 2 you get the same answer well I think this was faster just simplified before multiplying all right do you have any questions let's move on to what we have next uh, yeah we want to find HCF 